Good morning. Hi, good morning everybody. This is Miss Ray from the Great Falls Public Library and it is time for our toddler time. A toddler time is an early literacy program for babies and toddlers birth to two and a half. And today we are going to be reading this book. It's called Wild Animal Sounds. It's a National Geographic kids book and it has a lot of really cool animal sounds. Some of them, I didn't even know that that was the sound that animals make. Do you know what sound a zebra makes? I did not know what sound a zebra makes. So we are about to find out. But first, let's get started by singing hello to all of our friends. Can you wave? Here we go. Hi, hello, how are you? How are you? How are you? Hi, hello, how are you? How are you today? Hi, hello, how are you? How are you? How are you? Hi, hello, how are you? How are you today? Yay! Good morning, everybody. So, do you remember how cows say good morning? How do cows say good morning? Do you know? Cows say... Moo. Let's sing it. Here we go. When cows wake up in the morning, they always say hello. When cows wake up in the morning, they always say hello. And what do they say? And that is what they say. Good job. All right. What do monkeys say in the morning? How do monkeys say good morning? Do you know? What do monkeys say? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Try it with me. Ooh, 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 ooh. Good job. All right, let's sing it. When monkeys wake up in the morning, they always say hello. When monkeys wake up in the morning, they always say hello. And what do they say? Ooh, 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 ooh. Good job. And that is what they say. Nice job. All right, how about frogs? What do frogs say? Do you know? Let me hear it. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. Good job. And that is how frogs say good morning. Let's sing it. When frogs wake up in the morning, they always say hello. When frogs wake up in the morning, they always say hello. And what do they say? Ribbit, 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 ribbit. Good job. And that is what they say. Nice job. How about ducks? How do ducks say good morning? What do ducks say? Quack, 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 quack. Good job. Let's sing it. When ducks wake up in the morning, they always say hello. When ducks wake up in the morning, they always say hello. And what do they say? Quack, 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 quack. Good job. And that is what they say. All right. How about wolves? How do wolves say good morning? Do you know? Wolves say good morning by howling. Will you howl with me? Here we go. Ow! Great howling, guys. Are there wolves in the library? They must be here for the books. Let's sing it. Here we go. When wolves wake up in the morning, they always say hello. When wolves wake up in the morning, they always say hello. And what do they say? Ow! And that is what they say. Nice work, guys. All right. So since we have, well, we have almost all of those animals in this book. Cows are not wild animals. They are domesticated animals, which means that they live with people. But all of the other animals that we just did noises for, so the monkeys, the frogs, the ducks, and the wolves are all in this book. So I thought that we should sing a monkey counting song. So this song has five little monkeys. Show me those five little monkeys. One, two, three, four, five. And it also has a crocodile. Can you show me your crocodile? 
And then a crocodile is going to try to eat those monkeys by going snap. Snap. Good job. All right. Hide them all behind your back. Good job. Show me those five little monkeys. Here they go. Five little monkeys swinging from a tree. Teasing Mr. Crocodile, you can't catch me. Along came Mr. Crocodile, quiet as can be, and snap! How many monkeys are there now? We had five monkeys, and we took one away. How many are left? One, two, three, four. Good job. Let's do it again. Four little monkeys swinging from a tree. Trees and Mr. Crocodile, you can't catch me. Along came Mr. Crocodile, quiet as can be, and snap. Oh my gosh. We had four monkeys, and now we only have... How many are left? Three. Let's sing it again. Here we go. Three little monkeys swinging from a tree. Teasing Mr. Crocodile, you can't catch me. Along came Mr. Crocodile, quiet as can be, and snap. We had three monkeys. How many do we have left now? Only two? Wow. Let's sing it again. Here we go. Two little monkeys swinging from a tree. Teasing Mr. Crocodile, you can't catch me. Along came Mr. Crocodile, quiet as can be, and snap. How many are left? Just one. Just one is left. Wow. Let's sing it again. Here we go. One little monkey swinging from a tree. Teasing Mr. Crocodile, you can't catch me. Along came Mr. Crocodile, quiet as can be, and snap! No more monkeys swinging from that tree. Good job, guys. Awesome counting. All right. Let's read our book. Okay, so this animal sounds book i really 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 need your help to help read it okay i need you guys to help me make the animal sounds will you help me okay let's read it wild animal sounds this is a national geographic kids book snort snort let's play the elephant calls tag you're it Did you know that elephants go snort, snort? I know that they trumpet, but they go snort, snort too. I'm sorry, I can't do a very good elephant trumpet. I have noticed in story times and toddler times that I am not alone in not being able to do a very good elephant trumpet, but it's something like when they put their trunk in the air. We, we will do this for an animal song that we do a lot in story time. So if you're not ready for story time now, maybe soon, and you can check those videos out. We just um, sang that on, um, on Wednesday because our theme for the month of June is wild animals, so it's a perfect fit. All right, what animals are those? Howler monkeys. Do you think howler monkeys are quiet or loud? Oh, they are loud. Ooh, 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 this is our tree, the monkeys shout. Howler monkeys are loudest right after they wake up and just before they go to bed. So, that is, that's how they say good morning. Will you practice saying good morning like a monkey with me? Here we go. Ooh, 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 ooh. Good job. All right, what's that? It's a chipmunk. I'm not sure if we have these in Montana. Um, chipmunk goes chirp, 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 chirp. This is my spot, the chipmunk chatters. Chipmunks also chatter to tell others to stay away from their food. 
ribbit, ribbit. Here I am, the frog sings. Do you see the frog? Do you see how the frog's throat is all full of air? That helps them make their sound. That song makes me feel so happy. A frog fills its pouch in its throat with air to help make sounds. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. Will you try it with me? Ribbit, 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 ribbit. Good job. Ooh, and what are those? Ducks. It's a mama duck and one, two, three. I did not know. Do you know what sound zebras make? Zebras go bark. Will you practice uh, barking like a zebra with me? Bark, 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 bark. Good job, guys. Ooh, look. There's a big wolf and some baby wolves. Where are you, the wolf howls? Should we answer? Will you practice your wolf howl with me? Here we go. Ow! Good job. Ooh, what animals are those? Do you know? Those are dolphins. Let's swim this way, the dolphins squeer, squeal. Do you know what they say? Ee, 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 squeak, 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 ee, 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 ee. Good job. Oh, oh, it's a tiger. Do you know what tigers say? I bet you do. Tigers say, roar. Time for dinner, the mother tiger calls. What's the catch of the day, says the baby. Roar. Ooh, it's an owl. What do owls say, do you know? Hoo, hoo, hoo. Are you there, the owl hoots? I'll be right there. That's funny. Instead of I'll be right there, I'll be right there. The snowy owl's hoot can be heard from far away. How beautiful. Oh, and what animal is that? There's a couple of them. There's a big bear and a baby bear. It's time for bears to sleep. Can you snore like a bear? Good job, guys. Black bears snore while they sleep through the winter. I love to cuddle, says the baby bear. Do you? Do you like to cuddle like a baby bear? I bet you do. Now, let's match the animals with the sounds they make. Oh, it's the elephant. The elephant goes, hoo, hoo. Oh, no, no, it's not the elephant. Oh, it's the owl. The owl goes, hoo. And which animal roars? The tiger goes, roar. Good job. Which animal goes, snort, snort, and also trumpet? The little baby elephant. Good job. All right. And the zebras go, ooh, 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 ooh. Is that right? Is it the zebras that go, ooh, 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 ooh? 
Oh, no, no, it's the monkeys. The monkeys go ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, and what did the zebra say? Bark. Bark, 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 bark. Who knew? And one more animal that goes ribbit, 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 ribbit. Oh, that was the elephant. The elephant that goes ribbit. No, not the elephant. Which animal goes ribbit? Do you know? Oh, the frog in the corner is the one that goes ribbit. Gosh, I was really confused, guys. Thank you for helping me figure out all of those animal noises. You did a wonderful job today. And now it's time to say goodbye. So we are going to sing a goodbye song. I will see you next Friday here on Facebook Live. Let me double check my calendar, guys. I have some exciting news. So next Friday, which is July 2nd, I will see you here on Facebook Live at 1030. And the Friday after that, guys, that's a Friday, July 9th. I will see you in the accordingly room in the library basement. We're going to get to do toddler time inside the library again, guys. It's going to be so much fun. And we completely read on the accordingly room since the last time you were down there. It looks so nice. It's going to be a blast. I really, really hope you can join us. Now, if you're watching toddler time live and, um, and you are, so maybe because of traveling issues or health issues or just, I don't feel like it's, I'd like to stay in my pajamas issues. Totally cool. Um, we will be doing a story time here on Facebook on Wednesday mornings at 9.30 starting Wednesday, July 7th. Okay. So we are going to continue to do one early childhood program here on Facebook Live, but it's going to be a story time, which is for preschoolers, so it's a little bit harder than toddler time. So if toddler time live on Facebook is really important to you and your family, could you please either put that in the comments or um, shoot me an email or give me a call so that we can talk about it? Um, this program hasn't had as much attendance as the virtual story time has, but I also don't want anybody who is counting on it for um, for medical reasons or just because it isn't feasible to travel to the library. Um, I don't want them to not have their program um, that they are using with their um, with their baby or their toddler. So let me know. Um, and otherwise, I will see you on Friday the 9th. Is that right? Yes. Friday the 9th at 1030 in the library basement. And now it's time to sing goodbye to our friends. So here we go. Thanks, goodbye, see you soon, see you soon, see you soon. Thanks, goodbye, see you soon, see you next Friday. Thanks, goodbye, see you soon, see you soon, see you soon. Thanks, goodbye, see you soon, see you next Friday. Have a wonderful week, guys. I will see you next Friday and the following Friday in person, July 9th in the library basement. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, my friends.